Hey guys, it's DC here and today we're going over the top 10 antivirus software of 2020 so far. So with the coronavirus breaking out and basically everyone worrying that now their computers are going to get infected for some reason, I thought it'd be a great time to make this video. So without any further messing around, let's start with number 10. What is the 10th best antivirus software on the market at the moment? Number 10 is Bullguard and Bullguard's been around for a little while. It's um. I don't know, it's number 10 for a reason, basically. The free product is average, the paid product is slightly better, but at least you get it for 30 days for free and then you have to start paying for the real version, which does a little bit of extra stuff. Um, things I don't like about it is that it annoys me every time I want to open anything. And yeah, that's pretty much all the good stuff I have to say about it. Uh, way back when I had my own computer shop, I used to sell this one the most because it basically gave me the best profit margin and I don't think much has changed since then. Number nine is unfortunately Malwarebytes. Now I would have put Malwarebytes a little bit higher just because they're, uh, they're, it's a great product. However, their free product is a little bit subpar these days. I know it's a little bit more, you know, sort of targeted at uh, anti-malware rather than antivirus. But um, sort of same shit, different smell, basically. And uh, yeah, I, I just I had to put it down at number nine because of that reason. It's just not that good. The other reason is it's actually quite expensive compared to the others. Um, it was at least twenty dollars Australian more expensive than pretty much everything on the market, and I think that's because of its name. Number eight is Kaspersky, and Kaspersky is actually a pretty good product, um, but. It's uh, when I was going through like user reviews online because I haven't used this one for a little while now It um, it didn't do very well. A lot of people were saying that it's annoying with its pop-up prompts um, I'm sure you can turn all of them off, but this is like general users, right? So but yeah, it's won a bunch of awards the uh, AV test award and AV Cum And some other award that no one has ever heard of but um, yeah, it's, uh, it's still owned by Russians and it still works like that. Number seven, and this one might be surprising, is AVG. Now, AVG I used to use a lot uh, when I was like 15, so a pretty long time ago, um, basically because it was one of the first free ones that came out. Recently though, it does win a whole bunch of awards. Its paid version is pretty good and that's sort of why it's at the mid range um, but it is expensive because it has built up a pretty good name for itself, but that is for a good reason. The only problem I had with it was that its um, resource usage I found was quite high. Everything got slower once I put this on the computer. I don't know why, but hey, that's just how the cookie crumbles. Number six on the list is Avast, and Avast is actually pretty cool. Avast, I thought, honestly, was like AVG, just less intense but with more features. And what I mean by more features is like the URL filtering stuff is pretty cool, works really well. It doesn't chew up a heap of resources and it actually has a gaming mode, which is the only reason I would use a Windows computer. It's won a bunch of awards, just like all of the others from here all the way to number one. And uh, yeah, it's a great product with a, a good price. So a, a vast at number six. Number five on the list is Norton Antivirus. Now, Norton, it's pretty popular. It's been around since ever, and uh, it consistently wins awards. It does very well on system resources these days. Back when there was like Norton 360, it was um, just chewing up computers, and uh, that was a while ago though. Yeah, to be honest, if your computer can't really handle these antivirus software, maybe you should just run Linux anyway. But um, that's another conversation for another day. Number four on the list is Bitdefender. And this one I rated so highly because it was super quick. It didn't use up heaps of resources and it basically chewed through all of the viruses that I threw at it really quick, much faster than the others, uh, to be honest. And the only reason it didn't get to number one 
is um, just based on its price tag and the general UI of it I thought was a little bit basic but it's a pretty good product it's in here at number four number three on the list is McAfee and this one I didn't even want to put in the top 10 but unfortunately it's um, pretty good it's um, you can put it on your phones computers iPads whatever you want it runs on everything including Mac which I thought was interesting and um, yeah, it seems like a pretty good product, to be honest. It was quick to find viruses that I threw at it. It didn't use up a heap of system resources, which was surprising. And uh, yeah, it's got a, a good trial period, which I thought was pretty cool. Its price tag is sort of medium compared to the next two. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a good little bit of software. Okay, now on to number two, which is PC Protect. Now this one I'd never actually used before and I was super surprised at how good it is. It comes with like this optimization thing for your computer where you click on it and it optimizes everything, finds like cached files and all this rubbish, just like C Cleaner did. And uh, yeah, you just run that through and it cleans up all the crap on your computer. But it's also really good as an antivirus software. Um, it was super super fast to find viruses. It has a malware system built into it URL filtering pretty much everything with almost the lowest price which brings me on to number one Which is total AV now total AV was the only one that picked up the ransomware that I threw at it Which was based on the Riot ransomware um, that I talk about in the news all the time it um, it found viruses just as fast if not as fast as all of the other softwares the price tag was the lowest compared to everything it doesn't have a um, PC optimization feature to it but when you're looking at antivirus who really cares about PC optimization you're more looking at something that protects your computer it's got URL filtering internet security all of that stuff and uh, yeah it's actually a really good software and it was completely free so that's my top 10 antivirus for 2020 so far. I might make another one later in the year to see if you know things have changed or if Total AV has now got a price tag because it's won some awards or yeah, what's happening. But yeah, those are my picks. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other picks that you would maybe think are better than the ones that I've put in my top 10. Um, as always, if you like this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks guys, I'll catch you later.